Hello YouTube, this is Josh here for Steinway APKs. Welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to continue working with the full tick library, and I'm going to be showing you uh, not only how to work with the graphical user interface, but also how to add uh, uh, images uh, and, and further manipulate the graphical user interface to whatever application you're interested in developing. So for example, this is one of the uh, snippets, uh, code snippets that are, are in the full tick at the end the, if you don't know what I'm talking, actually I have it in my, I also have it here on my uh, uh, Chesco 345 GitHub page and this is the code for this uh, thing that I'm doing right now. So as you can see it's a nice graphical user interface with nice callbacks so as you can see i hit next and it goes to the second page and i hit next and it goes to the last page and you can add of course as many pages as you want and you hit back and it goes to the first page so it's a great nice little uh, graphical user interface it comes from the erco cheat page uh, from the full tick uh, website but like i said you can i also made a kept a copy here in my uh, github page so you can have access whenever uh, and if you want to follow along with me so what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, uh, tweak that program that he has and I'm going to add images to it so instead of uh, just showing you a blank page I'm just gonna ch show you how you can add images so let's close this one. Let me show it to you for the one last time so you know what it does. And it's a nice little graphical user interface. But now we're going to create this one. I'm going to open the other one and I'm going to explain to you what's going on here. Uh, he's uh, opening all of these uh, dependencies for the full tick library. These are the two main ones, the Wiz and the Window, the Wizard and the Window. And here are your voids, um, your your widget, your wizard, your wizard previews and next. This is what allows to go back and forth. And of course, the more pages that you add to it, the more um, you have to create more of these so for example this is creating your window it's a 4 by 300 and this one is your wizard which is 400 by 300 uh, and I, I'll show it to you it's better to show it to you as I run it and this is the first page right here and as you can see it's group no and there's a button where it says next. In this one, in the first page, there's only one button. As you can see in the second page, then you have the next button and you have the back button. This is how where it's uh, being aligned. The, the uh, this is aligned on the on the uh, top and the align left. And but let me show it to you. So we'll run it again. This is what I was explaining to you. It's aligned to the top and to the left. And uh, as you continue, you can change all of that, of course. And you, I'm going to show you how I changed it. So now let's look at mine, my tweak. And what I added, I added, I had to add a box. And I had to add the JPEG because I'm working with images. And I, as you can see, I created a box with my call my picture box. And then I added three images. So as you can see, I'm creating here, I'm pointing to what is coming later. And it's, they're being called right here. They're being, uh, this is what is being inside these guys right here. So, okay, 
so nothing very complicated it's the same thing the only thing that i did was add this one add this one and of course in each individual page i added uh, my my image that i wanted to show as you can see here there and there and everything else you more or less can keep it the same of course i changed the uh, the uh, the text also to give you an idea of what's happening. So now let's run this one. And, and I'm using to run it. I'm using full tick config, use images, and then compile and the name of the file. And compile. this the one as you can see I changed it or it says this is your studying image once you hit in, in in here the image disappears but it comes back again as you can see it's kind of it could be in some situations it could be good or it could be bad so these are the ones that I added so as you can see there are three different images and uh, this is could be very handy because you can manipulate in uh, this graphical user interface to whatever application you're using so it could become very handy in many applications but this is the end of this tutorial if you like this tutorial please click the like box and subscribe to my channel and follow me on github and i will see you next time with another tutorial have a great day